everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Therese here and for today's video I have kindly donated to me to use by the lovely Tanya. I have the Colourpop No Filter Foundation Stick to try. I'm like my lighting is not showing that. So here it is here, upside down. And it is a stick foundation. Now I love the No Filter Concealer, the foundation I think is great. So I'm excited to try the stick foundation. So let's read on the bag. So this is shade Light 70W as well, by the way. And yeah, there's no information on the box. It's just like the standardized boxing on the back. And then let's open her up. And it just looks like a giant lipstick. It actually looks really cool because it matches their like lipstick aesthetic, how they've got their lippy sticks like this as well. So this is what it looks like here. No filter stick. So uh, what I like about this is it's actually nice and compact. Like I feel like you could put this kind of anywhere and it'll be compact. So let's swatch her. So it comes like this and then comes out that far. So there's that much product in there. So it says that there is, dun 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 dun, dun does not say. <laughs> it says under here that there is 9.5 grams and 0 0.34 ounces. So let's pop her back in there. And then we'll do a wee swatch on the hand. And that is the color there. Now the consistency is actually really nice. It feels like a really nice lightweight formula. Like I actually really dig this. And in the stick form too. I feel like I wouldn't be able to apply it with my brush. I feel like this is more of a beauty blender applying situ. That's it rubbed in. It's actually not that bad. It's kind of like a very light coverage foundation. I actually like quite like it. I'm looking really like red at the moment. So I'm hoping that it like fills out my redness and everything like that. So I'm going to go moisten my beauty blender up, which is dirty shade. And I'm going to use a flat top brush on one side and one side and see how it looks. And then if it doesn't work, I'm just going to do it with the side that does work. So be right back. Alrighty, so I'm just going to prime my face with some Vasali rose gold, gold oil stuff. Do it like they do on Instagram. Oh god. Uh, my hands are all oily now. I hate that when you use like an oily... Oh my god, I look terrible. Um, when you use an oily primer and your face is oily. Alright, so I'm just going to put it on like spread it on my face and see how it goes so i'm gonna draw on i'm gonna do one side i think so i think this is how you apply it kind of like a crayon i guess i'm really hoping now it's my color me and tanya are like pretty much the same color which is like really handy because it's like she's fenty like foundations like i'm like bitch i won't use that All right sure it's actually rubbing quite nicely with this brush, so that's really cool that um, I'm not like, mm, I can only put it on one way, because some people like using foundations a certain way, with a brush, or with a, um, like a beauty blender and stuff, like, not everyone wants to use it the same way as everyone else, because everyone's individual. So I'm actually really liking the way that this is going on with a brush on some of my face. <laughs> um, it appears to be moving around a lot. I don't know if that's the foundation itself or if it's just the application of the brush. But it's almost, almost s smeared all off my nose. And the more I rub in, it's just picking up on all of my little hairs on my face. My micro hairs. So see? Like it doesn't look bad, but it's not an all over even coverage, but it could just be because of the brush. That side's got nothing, but it could just be because of the brush. So we'll see the other side with the beauty blender and see how that goes. I suppose I need to do my neck, don't I? <laughs> okay, I'll brush this side in my neck. Blending time. Okay. 
Okay, so I am finding that the Beauty Blender is having a better coverage than the brush. The brush is a bit smeary, so I'm just going to fix up some of those other sides. So you can still use a brush, it's just not as good as a Beauty Blender. So a Beauty Blender is going to have a better result with this. You can see all the bits I'm having to touch up are from the side with the brush. So let's just bounce it in. I mean, it doesn't really bother me that it's not really sticking to my nose. It's sticking way better with that um, Beauty Blender now. I don't know if you guys can tell that. Um, it's sticking way better with the Beauty Blender now than just the brush. But it's like, I put concealer on it anyway, so I'm not too bothered by that. But the Beauty Blender definitely has a better result with the stick. So as an all-over foundation, I don't actually think it's that bad. It's not a bad colour on me either. It's probably like a perfect match. Um... It is very lightweight though, like you can still see my freckles through it. It's a very light coverage foundation. It's not like a super heavy foundation, which is actually like really nice. So yeah, that is it there. So I think what I'm going to do now is set it, put foundation on, see if it looks like any particularly different or if it smears off anywhere. And then we will see after I've put the rest of my face on what it looks like. But for right now, I'm actually pretty impressed for it for the price point as well. Um, it's actually really friggin' cheap to get a result like this um, that actually covers your whole face. But again, it is not a heavy coverage foundation, probably like a light to medium coverage foundation, which is kind of like their no filter foundation anyway, um, like their liquid stuff. But yeah, to have the claim like no filter foundation, it's like, mm, I can still see stuff through it. But I mean, it, for the actual product, the price point, it's not a bad product so far. I haven't put powder on yet, so I'm not sure how it will mesh on with powder and things like that. So we will see, and I will just put on the rest of my face and stop gas bag until ya. <laughs> on powder, setting powder and setting it in, it actually does not look too bad. Like it's kind of just gone on real nicely, it looks like a nice base for anything. It's not like super sticky or anything like that. Um, I still look a little bit shiny like in these areas here, it makes me look very tired. Um, yeah, and then I feel like up in here it kind of does look a little tiny bit cakey up in here. You can see there. In between my brows. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just put on the rest of my face and I'll be right back and we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so makeup is done and I'm actually pretty... Yeah, not bad. The foundation I find is actually... The foundation I find is actually not not bad. I definitely would purchase it myself, seeing as it's not mine. I feel like I would actually go on Colourpop and buy some and wear it. Like, it's actually a really nice stick foundation. I've used many stick foundations before and I actually don't like them that much. Like, I've used them and I feel like they're a bit oily or anything, but this I found actually went on quite nicely with the Beauty Blender, not the brush. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video where I use the No Filter Stick. And yeah, it's actually not that bad. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Have you guys tried this at all? What are your thoughts? Comment in the comments down below. And until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Also, it's got no smell. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, it's got no scent. And yeah, that's what you guys are wondering. Okay, bye!